Hey guys, it's MST789 with another build video. I'm gonna show you my Invoker uh, Ritualist builds. Let's get right into it. For this I use the Discipline uh, armor set. I have a video I will link uh, down in the description how to get this. Then on it I also have the Tranquil Heart, the Relic, which specifically regens your health by two. Um, yeah, it's a really nice one. This one has health, damage reduction, and elemental damage. Then as a primary weapon, I use the Sparkfire Shotgun, which uh, applies fire to the enemies. Then I have the Overflow Weapon Mod, which uh, applies shock. And I have the Feathered Wounds Mutator, which applies corrosive. You can also use the new uh, Monolith Firefall. I li really like this one, um, because this one will work with um, elemental damage. And if you shoot an enemy, it applies Exposed, which increases all damage they take uh, by 15%. So this one's also really good. Um, and as a melee weapon, I use the Quell Axe, which applies Shocks, and I put uh, the Tainted Blade on it, which gives Corrosive. And I have the MP60 uh, SMG, with the Song of Aether and the new Searing Wounds uh, Mutator. And then for the amulet, I use the Whispering Marble, mainly because this gives you defense. It gives you three stacks of bulwark, and each stack of bulwark that you get um, will increase your damage. So this one is damage and defense. Then as a ring, I have the Burden of the Destroyer, which decreases all uh, range for all fire arms by 35%. But it also increases all damage you do by 15%. So this one's really nice. You just do more status effect damage with uh, this ring equipped. Then also I have the Shadow of Misery. It's the uh, One True King uh, DLC ring. Uh, which gives you 15% status effect damage. It's really nice. Then I have the Ahain Crystal. Uh, deals 4% additional damage from uh, each unique status effect. And this one is a hardcore item, so you need to uh, finish the game on hardcore in Yeisha, and then uh, you get this ring. Then also I have the, let me see, I have the dried clay ring. This one works really good with the marble, whispering marble, because they almost work the same. You get you get one uh, stack of bulwark with this, and each stack of bulwark you have uh, will give you more uh, damage. And it's just all damage. And all damage includes uh, ranged uh, damage, skill damage, it includes status effects. So yeah, Dried Clay Ring and Whispering Marvel, those are like really good for tankiness and uh, damage. So yeah, that's all the gear. Then let's check the traits out. I have the Fortify, which uh, increases armor effectiveness by 50%. That one is maximum. Then I have the Gifted. It's the Invoker talent, which increases your skill duration by 30%. I have a Triage Maximum, which uh, increases your healing by 50%. Figure at Maximum, which increases your maximum uh, health. Uh, I have Spirit Maximum uh, for the mod generation. Then also the Expertise is Maximum for the skill cooldowns. Then this one they change the amplitude, um, does both AOE and armor size, so uh, your area of effect is uh, bigger, 50%. Then also have the bark skin, which reduces your, uh, which increases your damage reduction by 10%. Then if we scroll down, we have the siphoner, which um, grants you 3% base damage as lifesteal. So even with your status effects, you will lifesteal off those status effects. So those are all the traits that I use. Then I use the Invoker as a primary, mainly because it doubles your skill charges for all archetypes. And on skill activation, it reduces your cooldowns. And when you have the Invoker as a primary, your uh, you have two charges of Miasma. So you just apply the Miasma on all the enemies. Then when it times out, then you just uh, trigger it again, and yeah, you can just um, keep triggering the Miasma, it's really nice. And then I have the Way of uh, Mydra, something, 
And this one will put a cloud on the ground, which heals you and all allies, and it inc uh, increases all elemental damage in that area. So yeah, this one will heal you and does damage. It's really good. Um, yeah, and I use the Miasma uh, just to uh, apply all the statuses. It's really nice. Um, yeah, the damage perks and the team perk. Utility perk and uh, relic perk, then damage perk, team perk, utility perk, and relic perk. So yeah, they're really nice. This one also comes with the affliction, 100% uh, status effect duration. So this uh, is just a really good tank build with status effects, and I'll show you a little bit how it works. So, yeah. Just apply all the statuses. Shock, fire, corrosive. You can throw your axe with shock and corrosive. This Song of Aether is mainly uh, uh, in boss fights. Uh, it slows down the enemies and they take more damage. Song of Aether is uh, really good. I will show in the gameplay later how, uh, how it's really useful. Then I have two charge of the Miasma. And if you also put out the Cloud, this will increase the damage and it gives you uh, healing. So yeah. Let's keep doing this. I will show you some gameplay now uh, while I'm finding some bosses. Hope you guys like the build. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. And yeah, like and subscribe for more content. LFP789, out. Hey. We all must do what we must do. No other option. Hey. Why? Why am I still shatter split? I should be home. I should be me. Why is it not me, enough? cruel goddess! Slayer of Pan! Destroyer of dreams! Oh, dirty beast! You will not hurt me! You will not use me! Not anymore! Not again! Not ever! You... You betrayed me! You are wicked! Wicked, like all the rest! You won't hurt my Tusa! No one will! There is nothing left of me! I
So what now? Hello. Pretty sure that thing would be dead if she did. <laughs> 